In this video, I'm going to show you how to round to benchmark fractions. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to round to either zero, one half, or one whole to solve some problems. So I've got four different examples here to show you. And the first one says, estimate the sum by rounding each number to zero, one half, or one whole before adding. So the numbers that we have are two thirds and one fifth. When I'm doing these, I think of, I, I draw myself a little number line for each fraction to model each one. So my first one, I'm going to draw a little number line. I'm going to start at zero, and then I'm going to put one half, and I'm going to put one whole. And now I'm actually going to change each of these to thirds. So zero equals zero thirds, one whole equals three thirds, and one half as thirds would be half of three, which is 1.5. Two thirds would be somewhere right about here. And you'll notice that two thirds is only one half of a third away from one and a half, whereas it's one whole third away from three thirds. So two thirds is closest to one half. So I'm going to mark this out and put one half in place of two thirds because I am rounding each number to either zero, one half, or one whole. So I'm going to do the same thing with one fifth. I'm going to draw myself a little miniature number line, place one, zero, one half, one whole on it. And uh, above it, I'm going to put fifths. So zero fifths, five fifths, and half would be 2.5 fifths. So one fifth is going to be right about here or so, one fifth. And it is only one fifth away from zero, whereas it's one and a half fifths away from a half. So this right here is closer to zero. So if I now do my addition, I would have one half plus nothing equals one half. In my second example, I have 11 twelfths and seven ninths. And again, my little number line here, zero, a half, a whole. This would be 0 twelfths, this would be 12 twelfths, and this would be 6 twelfths. should be fairly clear that 11 twelfths is very close to 12 twelfths, probably right in here somewhere. So it is very close to one whole. I'm going to mark this out and write one whole. Same thing with 7 ninths. Here's my little number line. 0, a half, a whole. If I'm changing this to ninths, this would be zero ninths, this would be nine ninths, and half of nine is 4.5. So if I'm talking about seven ninths, probably somewhere right about here, seven ninths, and notice it's two ninths away from nine, but it's two and a half away from 4.5. So it's closer to nine ninths, which is one whole. I'm going to mark that out and put one whole. So now I have one whole plus one whole equals two holes. In my third example, my number line, is, my first one is going to be sevenths, zero, one half, one whole, zero sevenths, seven sevenths, and half of seven is 3.5. I'm looking for five sevenths, which it looks like it's going to be probably right about here, five sevenths. Five sevenths is two away from seven sevenths. It is one and a half away from 3.5 sevenths. So it is closer to 3.5 sevenths. So I'm going to mark that out and I'm going to put one half. And then I'm going to do eight ninths draw my little number line, zero, one half, one whole, zero ninths, nine ninths, and four and a half ninths, eight ninths, it's probably somewhere right around there. It is only one ninth away from nine ninths, but it is three and a half ninths away from 4.5 ninths. So it is closer to one whole. So my new problem is one half plus one whole equals one and one half 
or C here. My last problem is 4 ninths plus 1 fifth. Number one, 0, 1 half, 1 whole, 0 ninths, 9 ninths, and 4.5 ninths. 4 ninths is just slightly less than 4.5 ninths, so it's very close to 1 half, so that's what I'm going to round it to. And fifths, 0, a half, a whole, 0 fifths, 5 fifths, and half of 5 is 2.5. 1 fifth, I'm estimating, is probably somewhere right around there. It is 1 away from 0. It is 1 and a half away from 2.5, so it is closer to 0. A half plus 0 equals 1 half.